going on everybody, Mark here and today we are going to be taking a look at a few different thermal pastes to check and see which is the best for your system. We will be testing thermal pastes that came out of the box from some aftermarket coolers and some standalone thermal pastes. For the standalone paste, we will be using Arctic Silver 5 and Antec Formula 7. We will also use Cooler Master's Paste and Cryo Rig's Cryo Paste 9 as the thermal paste that came with the aftermarket coolers. I tested these pastes on my personal rig that houses an Intel i5-4690K, overclocked to 4.3 GHz, a GTX 660, yes I know, I need to upgrade, and 8 gigs of silicon power memory clocked at 1866 MHz. I do also have two 240 gig solid state drives and a 1 terabyte Western Digital hard drive running at 7200 RPM. I ran IDA 64 for 10 minutes on each paste, which I thought would be good enough and took an average for the minimum and max temperatures under load and while idle. So far, here are the results. As you can see, CryoRig CP9 scored the best as the max temps under load was only 60 degrees Celsius and 52 for the lowest temps. Next in line was Antec Formula 7, with 62 degrees Celsius at the max and 54 at the lowest. Arctic Silver doesn't fall far behind that with the same 62 degrees Celsius max and 55 minimum. Last place would be Cooler Master's paste. This paste actually wasn't as bad as I originally thought it would be. It was only one degree more than the max of Arctic Silver's and Antex paste at 63 degrees Celsius. If you're on a budget, then get Antex paste as you can get a fairly big tube for a cheap price. If you're someone who is thinking about overclocking, then you might as well buy Cryo Rigs or Arctic Silver's paste. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Leave a like if the video helped you out in any way in choosing these pastes. If you didn't like the video, let me know why in the comment section below before pressing that dislike button. It helps to know what I did wrong.